Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, you guys, um, I'm super excited about this video for two reasons. Number one, I have a tip for you guys that I recently found out about that is gonna save me so much time. It's free, it's just something, a feature that eBay offers that I had no clue about. And I'm like, how did I not know about this? It's gonna save me so much time. And in the comments below, let me know if you knew about this feature. So I was going to do it on a separate video and then, um, anyway, so it's going to look a little different, but let me get my screen share up and then I'm going to pull up the video, <laughs> which probably looks kind of funny. Let me see, but you guys should be able to see it. And I'm just going to hit play and I'm going to let you guys watch it. I'm going to turn the volume up here. And then um, I might like fast forward. If you, we'll see, we'll see. Let's see how it goes. Okay, so we're talking about speeding things up when we are sending offers. Now, there's a couple things I want to show you, but I want to start with first off, I have to go into um, special finds, and these are my husband's items, which I cannot um, negotiate as much on. So uh, send offers to eligible. I'm going to click on that. So these are items that people are interested in. So I don't, let's see. I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this. I'm going to send offer. Okay, so allow counter offers. We have the option to allow counter offers or not allow counter offers when we're sending an offer. But this is something I just noticed. Automatically send offers. Your offer will be automatically sent to future interested buyers. So I can put a price in here. I'm just going to do 90. And if I click on this, it's going to set that so that whenever somebody likes this item, they will automatically get an offer. Now, I don't think I'm going to do that, but it's definitely a cool choice. You can see it changes the settings up there. Um, okay, so I'm gonna send the offer. Okay, and I'm gonna have to do all of these because what I wanna show you next is something different. And I'm just gonna change his because again, what I'm gonna do next, I don't want to apply to his because he prices his stuff in a different way way than I do. So that's the tricky part about what I'm about to do is if you want um, certain uh, discounts on certain things. Like this one, I don't. he just listed it and I don't even want to send an offer, but I have to if I'm going to show you this. So he's got 225 on it. I'm just going to see if it'll let me do 220. No, 218. So 218 is the lowest. So that's what I'm going to do. And then um, there's two more here, and then I'm going to show you a little trick. Let's see if it'll let me do 108. Um, send offer. Okay, good. Um, and this one I'm just going to knock down to 30. Okay, now talk about a time saver. Are you ready? Okay, so I want to come back over here real quick. That is the way. I normally do it. Only I do it from my phone. So you saw how long it took to do what? Eight, seven, eight items? I don't know. It takes a long time to send offers. Get ready, guys. Get ready. If you don't know about this, you're going to be like, no way. I was like, no way. There's just no way. All right, let me get back to it. All right, are you ready for the big secret? Ready for this. Let me get into, whoops. No, I don't know how to get back into. Oh, I just have to un unselect, deselect that item. Okay, so you can see that I have um, send offers eligible to seventy five items. So watch this, you guys. Click on start selecting. It is going to select all seventy five. But actually, there's 81. But let's just do the 75. I don't know. It must go on to. No, I don't know why it says 81. Hmm, that's odd. Okay, so you're going to click send offers. Okay. And I just found out about this. 
So I can put in a percentage and I'm going to change this to 10% off. And you can see over here, it says offer $27. So it's going to show you for each item what your offer is going to be. But I feel like 10% is a pretty easy, you know, calculated percent off. Now, I do like going in and actually doing the items individually, but sometimes, I mean, I have 74 items eligible. That could take me a good 20 minutes, maybe 10, I don't know. But you know what I'm saying. It's going to save me time during my day. Um, I wonder if it would be nice if you could click on the ones and make it so it does not send an offer, but it doesn't look like eBay's offering that yet, but this is pretty cool. So I can either allow counter offers or not. I'm going to allow it. And then they put, here's your chance to get this item at a great price. I'm just going to leave that. I know some people tweak it. So if you tweak it, it's going to send it to everyone. And then I'm just going to click 10% off plus shipping, send offers. And all of those offers are going to be sent. And I didn't have to spend 10, 15 minutes doing it. And send offers eligible. So there's still 16 but maybe it just has not updated yet. All right, let's see. Send offer sent. So I don't have anything that is send offer eligible. So I am good to go on this one. All right, you guys. Is that awesome or what? So let me know in the comments if you knew about it. And if you knew about it, why didn't you tell me? Because I've been sending them manually, like each one every day. And I'll tell you, I usually have quite a few. Um, and I don't know if you guys know this, but it is offer to watchers. But do you guys ever randomly get an offer from someone and you're like, I didn't like that item. If you go in and look at an item, eBay will count that as like a watch and you guys will get offers. So um, it's not always, in other words, if I go in and search comps on something, I will get an offer for that item from the person because eBay has alerted them that someone has looked at their item and is showing interest. So it may not be somebody that actually hit the like button. It could just be somebody that looked at my item. So I don't know sometimes it might be um, a little bit of a waste of time because the people looking are not always interested. They're just looking up comps. All right, you guys, are you ready to get in to the stamps, rubber stamps? So let me tell you what happened today. All right, let me get screen share back up. This is so awesome. I'm so excited. Okay, so in my Facebook group, Stacy, she wrote, I sold my first stamp from my order I received from Donatella Bottolino that I posted an unboxing yesterday of yesterday. I just listed the mouse ones today, still have a lot more to list. She paid 210 for a lot of approximately 40 stamps plus other craft supplies. She said this one sale has me well on the way to paying off the purchase price. Plus I have watchers on several other pieces. And then if you look at the top, it says update. Sold second stamp. My highest price listed of the bunch for $185. The lot is now paid for and all the rest is profits. See comments for photo of the one that sold for $185. So here is the first one that she sold. And um, it sold for $55. I think a best offer of $55. And then I will show you the other one here in a second. But this is... Her channel here, Susie Q's Never Ending Jewelry Party, unboxing rubber stamps and craft supplies purchased from Donatella Bottolino with comps. So she goes in and she shows you guys the comparables as she's doing the video, kind of like I do sometimes. But um, so it's educational as well as an unboxing, which I think is great. So definitely go over and show her some love with a sub. This is Susie Q's Never Ending Jewelry Party. And she bought this from Donatella Bottolino. And you guys know that I purchase from Donatella and T all the time. Um, well, not all the time, but I have made several purchases. I've done several unboxing videos for you guys. And um, I just had a home run that I bought from auctions for you. Um, 
And I think, nope, that's not the one. Let me see. So auctions for you is who I got my box from. And here is the video. It's right here. It was a hundred dollar box of vintage toys. So she bought out um, some storage units that were jam packed full of toys. And I said, just send me a vintage box for a hundred dollars. So this is the video. You guys have got to go check it out. It was a home run. And throughout the video, like I have already sold some of the items. So I will put sold and I will show you the sold price. But if it hasn't sold, I show you comparables for every item that I listed. Um, again, this is just kind of a tool to show you guys how I list things, my titles, how what price range things are in. And it's a great way to learn what some of the vintage toys are because I had to look a bunch of the toys up in this box because I had never seen them before. All right, so let's get back to the stamps. Um, wow, I just wanna say that I did some research and I found three stamps that you guys should most definitely be on the lookout for. Um, a lot of rubber stamps, and we're gonna get to that in a minute, a lot of rubber stamps. So we're talking about the wood stamps with the rubber on the bottom. A lot of them are bread and butter but there are some that can go for big money. And if you guys have been watching my uh, sourcing with Bolo Buddies channel, um, I've had a couple what sold videos where I have showed some rubber stamps that I have sold for good money. So um, I think it's in my last two what sold videos over on that channel. And it was super exciting. I got to tell you, when you sell a, a stamp for 40 some dollars and 20 some dollars for one stamp, that's just amazing. Now things to look for, vintage or discontinued retired stamps. Um, those are the ones that are going to go for the higher dollar amounts. Now that's not to say that ones that are not retired can't sell for decent money. Okay. Um, you can still make decent money bread and butter on other stamps, but those big money ones, oh my goodness, she sold one for $185. So it got me searching the one that she sold. So we're gonna get into that. And let me get my screen share back up. So let me give you an example. This is my listing. It's a lot of 192 wood mounted rubber stamps. And these are retired. And I don't know if the lot is too big and it's making the shipping too high. I don't know if just nobody's interested, but I can't sell these. Nobody is buying them. Um, I have no clue why. I think that maybe the shipping is just too much. I don't know. Um, I don't think that they'll fit in a, um, I'm looking to see if I have any with the mouse. <laughs> you guys will see in a minute. Um, I don't see any because I'd be pulling this listing and grabbing that mouse. All right. So um, I don't know but I have it listed. It's 90, 192 stamps. It doesn't look like that many, does it? But each of these have, I don't know how many in it. And maybe it's my picture. Maybe it's a bad picture. Maybe I should have put them all close together. I mean, these haven't even been put together. So they come on a thing and you have to like put them on the wood. So I don't know, but I've got them listed for 9374 plus shipping. So um, I think calculating shipping would be like if I'm shipping it from Ohio to Ohio. So this is probably much lower than it would be if um, you're in a different state. But yeah, so I can't sell that one. I think I would probably do better putting it in small lots and I may end up doing that if it doesn't sell soon. <laughs> All right, the next item. Okay, so this is the item that she sold for, I think it was 55, she took a best offer and again, Donatella Bottolino bought out a craft store and she got all of these stamps that were brand new. She's got all these crafting supplies and she's auctioning them off now over at her YouTube auction. Um, and she has selling events too. So sometimes she'll just be like, okay, I have this up for sale. Anybody who wants it, this is the price. And she does special deals. And then T does that also. So this stamp sold for 55 house mouse okay now here's the one that she sold for a best offer of 185 dollars, and it sold really fast this one's from 2006 so it's not as old 
but it's still a old rare retired stamp. She couldn't find any comps on this one, I think is what she said in her unboxing video. And again, if you go over to her channel, you can see everything that came in this box. Um, I think she paid 210 for it, if I remember correctly. Okay, the next um, thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you, let's update this. And um, okay, I was seeing if she had listed any more. So these are probably some of the other items that came in her lot. And these are all house mouse. You guys, house mouse is a bolo. So she's got this one for $19.99, $24.99. This one is at $149.99. $47.99. I mean, she hit the jackpot. She got all of the house mouse. House mouse is like a bolo, $109.99. So I'm really looking forward to seeing how many of these she ends up selling. Okay, this one's different. This um, So now we're getting out of the house mouse, but still, here's another house mouse. <laughs> I love it. That is fantastic. What a super, super score. Here's another one, two of them, house mouse. So one Bolo brand of stamps, and it's not really the brand, I guess it would be the content or um, the picture is the house mouse. If you can find the house mouse, definitely pick them up. Like here's a bread and butter one, but still, um, I mean, she just did fantastic. And I don't even think she has everything listed yet. Um, now, another brand to look for, is the Clyban Cat. Now this one is my listing and I think I took an offer of like $24 in some sense, which I thought it was kind of a weird offer because it was only like not even $2 off the asking price. And typically people will just buy it, you know? But that's what it says on the side. And mine has been used as you can see, but it's a rubber stampede 1991. And the thing that is collectible is this Clyban cat, this cat, whatever this cat is. For some reason, it is really special. So it retailed for $650. It's still got the tag on it, but it's not new. Here is the other one I sold. Now, this one is also $19.91. And I think this one went for the full asking price of $46.80. And after seeing that she sold one for $185, I'm wondering if I should have sold this higher because they did not make me an offer. Um, it's kind of special because it says San Francisco. So it's going to hit that special buyer, somebody in San Francisco, and it's got the cats. So it's going to get the cat collector. Also, I could not find any comparables. I probably pi priced it too low. You guys can let me know in the comments. Um, let's see, $6.99 is what that one retailed for in 1991, but it is used as you can see. I don't know if you can clean these up and get that ink off or not, but I didn't mess with it. So super excited about that. Um, I picked these up at a thrift store in a, a small lot. I think I paid $1.50 for the lot. So these were the only two cat ones, but definitely be on the lookout for this cat, Bolo, for sure. And if you see other merchandise with this cat on it, definitely uh, set, check comps. Okay, so let's go into the solds for the Clyban cat stamps. So this one, it sold for 135 and this is a rare stamp, it says, and it's got the cats in the trees. And if it has a line through it, it means best offer accepted. So I don't know what that one actually sold for, but it is above this one that's $49.97. And I've got it searched by highest first. So I'm guessing it sold for more than this one. Um, so here are just, there's mine. And I don't know, that's right, I was like, I was thinking I had a best offer, but I didn't. So $42.99. So pretty, pretty cool. And now some of, oh, there's the one I had. But that one, okay, so look at that one. That one's too, I think mine was bigger. Yeah, and mine's in color. But I didn't see that one when I looked up comps. When did it sell? April 21st. When did mine sell? April 24th. So hmm, I don't know how I missed it. Maybe I didn't catch it because it wasn't in color. Now I'm going to keep going here. And you guys can see that um, the prices are going down. So they do some are bread and butter. Look at this. This person listed them like that. 
There's my other one that sold. So definitely look for the house mouse and the Clyban. I think I'm saying that right. I could be saying it wrong. Cat. Clyban cat. Bolo, bolo, bolo. Okay. And again, certain ones will be bread and butter, but some of them are big money if you can find the rare ones. Okay. Another good one to look for. Oh, wait. Okay. So I showed you her store. So now we're going to look at some of the house mouse solds. Okay. You guys ready for this? $248. $248. People love house mouse stamps. It is unbelievable what these are selling for. So here's hers. How cool is that? So I would say that the house mouse is definitely more collectible than the Clyban cat because there are a lot more high solds. And I will be honest with you, I knew about the Clyban cat when I got it. I knew to search it. Just it was like that faint little memory of I think I need to look this cat up. But I did not know about the house mouse. Did you know about the house mouse? So let me know in the comments. But look, look how many are high price. High price. High price. High prices. That's what I want to say. Oh, goodness me. Okay. So uh, pretty cool, right? Now, the last thing, I wanted to give you guys three. So when I was searching... I feel like um, Snoopy, anything Snoopy seems to have decent comps. You're not going to get the house mouse and the Clyban cat, but they still have decent comps. Be careful. Don't overpay. Um, but, you know, you've got single stamps in the $40 and $35 range, which I think is fantastic for a rubber stamp. But if you keep scrolling, you're also going to have some bread and butter. Okay, so not as many high comps with these. Definitely look it up before you go spending crazy money on Snoopy, House Mouse, or Clyban Cat because they are not all created equal. The more rare the item is, the less made, the higher the demand, the more they're going to sell for. Okay, like this one sold for ten fifty. That's, I mean, if you get it for a quarter, that's fantastic. But you don't want to pay five dollars for a stamp because you're thinking, oh, I saw on Bolo Buddies that Snoopy. Anything Snoopy rubber stamps are going to sell for big money and you pay $5 for it and it's only a $10 stamp. So um, just be careful. And um, if you can get it cheap, by all means, just grab it and go, as I always say. And I am going to post a link to Donatella Bottolino and auctions for you down in the description, along with Susie Q's Never Ending Jewelry Party. So if you guys want to go and show them some love with a sub, that would be awesome. Thanks for being here. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about that uh, sending offers tip. I just think it's fantastic. And I've used it the last couple of days. And I'm like, I just can't believe I didn't know about this. It's just unbelievable. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching.